Yeah. <laughs> Today is a big, busy day, but I'm still not 100% positive what we're actually doing. It is stupid cold today. It's ridiculous. Mom, I think this is the food that whenever you were asking me before, like this is the one I'm gonna eat in college and remember your cooking. Oh, so long time. Yeah. Right. It's like soul food for me. I see. That that is where we're going. <laughs> Aren't malls just experiencing like a decline in people? You don't have to go to mall anymore. Whoa, look at that. This mall is so surreal because there's like no one in it and the music's really echoey. It's kind of scary. We saw one sign for Toys R Us and now we're on the hunt for it. Because I swear I thought they went out of business. But Caleb says they went back in business. Yeah. <laughs> he said it's right next to the Nickelodeon universe. There are three slopes. This is the steepest. I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> We're getting close. Level two. This is level two. Oh, Toys R Us. Let's go. Maybe this is the most fun you could have in here. It's been so... When's the last time I stepped foot in a Toys R Us? Oh my god. Like 10 years ago? This is insane. Oh my god. Dad, what did you say about this place? What did you say made you think? Yeah, I want to live in the countryside and not have to deal with any of these. It drains the living life out of me. I agree. I don't really know how to explain it, but something about the mall was kind of off. I don't know if that makes sense. It was really weird that there was so much stuff and so little people and it was like trying to appeal to you so much and it was like, it felt really hedonistic. But I know like all malls are kind of like that, but this one in particular was really unsettlingly hedonistic and my dad thought so too. I feel degrading walking through the mall. <laughs> Can you elaborate on that? Because they're aiming towards people to buy, buy stuff, right? And that's all you are to them. Yeah. Right? And it felt degrading walking through the mall, becoming one of those targets. I don't know how to explain it. And I think you explained it pretty well. Yeah, and then it just sucked all the life out of you. I think it was one of those things where it was trying so hard to be... Everything. Everything. That it was nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, it's not done yet. <laughs> I used to copy it now. Uh, <laughs> I, used to, I used to look at it and copy it now. That's crazy. It's recording right now. It's my aunt. Oh, I think you're gonna go in the vlog now. No. Wait, I'll blow your face out. No. <laughs> she was asking how my camera works and she doesn't want to be in the vlog. <laughs> We're watching my vlog <laughs> at my cousin's house right now. <laughs> this traffic is insufferable. Uh, okay, all right. Really cool. <laughs> I finished this book though, finally. We dropped by the apartment Right before, we're gonna go meet up with the cousins again, but this book was so good. It was like, it's obviously fiction, but reading it, it just feels like you're reading history. And the way that he writes, 
is really compelling, even though this is apparently the slowest one, and like 60 pages is half a day. It was still really, really good. We were supposed to go snowboarding today at the indoor, whenever I showed you the big slope indoor, but it was, it looked really boring, so we just didn't end up doing it. We're here again, we're just house hopping today. Sparky! Oh my gosh, she looks like he has a pom-pom on his butt. Oh yeah, he. Sparky, what the heck is that? Hello. They have me slaving away in the kitchen making coffee for Yes, <laughs> yes. Make me coffee. Yo, don't. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Uh, no, it's horrible. It's actually story. horrible writing like essays. So badly. <laughs> Even in ChatGPT Ch four, it doesn't write. Yeah. Well. No, it's just you have to use it to tell you what to write about and like what the structure is, and then you write it yourself. But you don't actually make it right for you. Yeah. I got a hundred on my English essay by doing that. I don't know about my wife. They have Don't they go through um turn it turn it in? Yeah, but I detect it. Oh, you wrote it. I just told it to tell me how to write it. Like what is the outline? I've come with my dad to this meeting event, dinner event, with his like golf league. And <laughs> the plan is these guys are all really successful businessmen. They like own businesses and stuff. So the plan is I'm gonna ask them for advice. The league called Chiboga. It's Korean Americans playing golf every month. Oh. Oh, Hello. 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 Videos, please don't take this time. Okay. <laughs> it's so messy. Okay, I will not. What's up? Hey. 안녕하세요. What is your profession? Well, uh, I own my business and I have two jobs. He works full time and then he runs his business. He makes a lot of money. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm going to hear that a lot. I really Whatever you feel, move with the confidence. Enjoy. That's all. <laughs> Wait, first, what do you do? I work for State Street Bank. Okay. And I'm in the fund admin business. So my clients are like hedge funds, private equity funds, and I help them move money. So they gotta pay bills, they gotta do money capital, they have money laundering, I help them with that. <laughs> <laughs> Money more important or doing what you like? You gotta think about that, and I think that should drive your decision. Oh, you're, you're so white now. Yeah, no go. Why are you so white? No go. Majoring in finance is a good like give you good opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Fin finance is always gonna be money, but for my son. If I had to, I would drive it more towards tech. I mean, clearly, yeah. Quant, quant trading, shit like that. that. That's where the money is. Yo, little baby! <laughs> you don't want to interview me. <laughs> you don't want to end up like me. I only had a thousand dollars in my pocket. From that point, I became real man. So I had to work whatever it have a chance. I worked for it. It was it wasn't easy. Every day you go out door to door to sell the vacuum. I don't even make a ten dollars a day. And take the time and over like twenty years later it became my time. 
I'm only telling you guys that uh, whenever you guys ready, the chance is coming. Your time is coming at some point. In order to ready, you have to have a lot of experience. Yeah, I want to do this, do this, do that. Okay, that's fine. Do it. Just do it. Don't give up. One of those is come. Just get ready. That's all I want to tell you. Okay? You'll be good. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs>